Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we will be solving simple inequalities. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on linear equalities, it will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check that video out before watching this one. So linear inequalities can be solved in much the same way as linear equations, but with one important exception that we'll get to later on. So we have a few examples of inequalities here. The first one says x plus 5 is greater than 11. So all we need to do is treat this greater than symbol as an equal sign. We can subtract both sides by 5 to get x, and then bring down the symbol, is less than 11 minus six, uh, 5 or 6, and that would be your answer. Same thing goes for all the inequalities you will be solving besides one rule. Um, so here we can add 9 to both sides to get r by itself. In that case, we will be left with 17 plus 9 or 26, bring down the symbol, is greater than or equal to r. Now, in this equation, we'll just be dividing by 2 to get to x, and we'll be left with x is less than 4 divided by 2, or 2. And here, we will be, we can multiply by 4 on both sides, and we get m is less than 9 times 4, or 36. Now this example will go through the exception. So here we have negative 60 is greater than or equal to 24. And right here we had a similar problem just without a negative in front. So the rule is when you are multiplying, when you multiply, or divide um, both sides of an inequality, by a negative number, you reverse the signs, or you flip the signs. So here we're going to multiply by negative 6, or divide by negative 6, to isolate d. And we, if we do that, we have d, and on the other side, we'll have 24 divided by negative 6, or negative 4. Now it says that you have to reverse or flip the sign. So what that means is, since we have greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal to. So if you had a less than, it would be a greater than, or vice versa. And same thing goes if you had less than or equal to then you would go change it to greater than or equal to. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.